The reopening of the upgraded Matthews Park has been delayed further after previous delays due to supply chain challenges and missed shipments. The playground equipment uh, was a bit delayed over the original estimate and then when some of it did arrive the surfacing was the wrong surfacing and so we had to wait for new stuff to arrive as well. Now the city has faced another challenge during final inspections. The rubberized tile surfacing was not installed correctly and did not meet safety standards. The surface must be reinstalled to meet those standards, which means Fort St. John residents will have to wait a few more weeks before they can go enjoy the new equipment. The upgraded playground includes traditional playground equipment and what Harvey calls an obstacle agility course. Well, they have a, an obstacle course set up that'll that kids, you know, can can race each other and, and all of those things will be will be cool to see people enjoy. The playground isn't the only thing getting upgrades at Matthews Park. The parking lot at Matthews Park is still being worked on and so that's going to uh, be paved this year and so uh, actual stalls and, and some uh, better lighting and, and those sorts of things as well as the basketball court. Uh, that work hasn't started yet. Upgrades to the basketball court are scheduled to begin in spring of 2024. Jordan Prentice in Fort St. John reporting for energeticcity.ca.